how's things with you and Jamie? Yeah, we're in a weird place. Why? We bumped into his ex and he introduced me as his friend. Really? Oh God, he's probably still in love with his ex. That's what I thought. I'd, I'd just need some time to decide whether he's the right guy for me. I agree. But whilst you're doing that, we should go out and just have some fun. Doing what? Come to that speed dating event with me. I don't think so. Come on, it'll be fun. And look, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of harmless flirting, especially if it's not going to go anywhere. Come on, you owe me and you know it. <laughs> OK, I will be there. Yeah, but right now, you should be downloading Tinder, POF. Oh, that. has got time for Tinder, man. Um, exactly, there's a better one. Speed dating. Speed dating. Wow, speed. Who does speed dating? It's for I, old people. I knew you. Oh my god. Is that Jamie over there? No. 11 o'clock. No, it's 8. 11 o'clock, Michelle. Oh no, she didn't. I'm gonna be right back. Michelle. Oh. Don't you two look comfortable? Michelle, uh, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is this girl just kissed you. Jamie, who is this? It's I... best if you don't talk. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out who you are. I'm his girlfriend. Well, if you are, then why is he here talking to me? That's what I'd like to know. Well, let's, um, let's go somewhere quiet and talk about this. So, what is it that you do? Oh, so I'm currently working at part-time security. So, yeah, how about you? Brilliant. Well, basically... Sam, Sam, Sam. I, I knew it was you. What? This hair's lovely. What's this? Peruvian? This is nice. I'm um, so sorry about this. <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh, I'm about to be a new boyfriend. Tell him. What? Tell him. Uh, no, he's not. Don't listen to me. He's crazy. <laughs> Sam, you need to stop denying our little... So, can we stream you got going on? I see you both have unfinished business. It was nice meeting you. Nice what, meeting no, you too, no, but no, we don't. No, no, no we don't worry. Don't he's leaving. He's leaving. You need to stop these lies. You need to stop denying the love we have together. Don't Please. even go there. Don't do it. Jamie, what's going on between us? Because I'm confused. You're confused. I'm the one that's confused. You've been distant for days. And whose fault is that? Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> You're the one who introduced me to their ex as their friend. I told you before that was an accident and I corrected it. But it was the first thought you had, which means you're not over her. I am over her. <laughs> no, you're not. And I can't be with someone who's not over their ex. Michelle! I'm Michelle. ready to go. Wait, we haven't finished talking about the we kids. We don't talk about anything. Let's but don't go, we need to talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. We can work through this. No, we can't. All right, let's not do this here, okay? Nate, can you take Jamie to the bar, Michelle? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come Yo, what just happened? Michelle saw my date trying to kiss me. Oh, shit. Mm. Then she brought up with the uh, situation with Vanessa. She, she thinks I'm not over her. And then, and then she broke up with me. But well, come on, you're not over Vanessa. Bruv! Alright. Okay, hypothetically, if you're over Vanessa, you're still gonna have to convince Michelle. You're still gonna have to fight for her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right, come, let's go. Alright, come. Oh my god. What just happened? Like, you went zero to a hundred real quick. I saw that girl kiss him and I just lost it. What was his excuse? It's not what it looks like. Never is, is it? Of course. And then he told me that I'd been distant, and I said, whose fault is that? Good. And then he tried to convince me that he's not in love with his ex, and I just don't believe him. And so I ended it. You ended it. Are you sure that's what you want? You were the one who said that if it happened to you, you would have done it. Listen, that's me. OK, that's not you. Look, just. Go out there and just speak to him, clear the air, and you might 
just might might be able to get past it. I don't know. You don't have a choice. Come on. Let's no, go. Th no, this is so embarrassing. Hey. Hi. So, um, I thought about what you said. And I'm sorry. You are? I am. I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have introduced you as my friend to Vanessa. Sorry. Thank you. So, aren't you gonna say something to me? What do you want me to say? I'm sorry? What for? For overreacting. I didn't overreact. Well, you did. You kind of accused me of still being in love with my ex. <laughs> That's because you are. I am so done. Here we go again. Why did you always have to bring her up? You are the one who just brought her up right now. But you're the one making a scene in front of all these people. Yes, because you need witnesses, otherwise I would kill you. Oh, really? So after everything I've done for you, you're gonna... Oh, oh, everything you've done? You cooked me one meal with two-minute Uncle Ben's rice. <laughs> I put a lot of effort into that rice. Oh, a lot of effort. And who taught you that? Your ex, Vanessa. Oh, really? Okay, well, what about Nate telling me uh, he saw you down Brixton High Street with Tyrone? Explain that. Who the hell is Tyrone? So, no, you tell us. Why are you listening to that fool? Fool, fool. Fool, I, I don't think we're the fools here, to be honest. Oh, are you trying to put this back on me? Yeah, you're the one making a scene. Why? Uh, because all the women in here need to know what kind of man you are. Don't you know there's a shortage of good men, hmm? <laughs> yeah, I do know. And you ain't one of them, so take your little replica vans, spelt with an M, back to the market. <laughs> Why'd you always expect so much of me, hmm? I tried to do so much for you, and this is how you're gonna repay me. How can I expect so much from... Something so little. Michelle. All right, go, Michelle. I don't need you anyway. Go. 